have at the moment, you see, is that we want people to be able to see the poets and feel the poets and be with the poets in one rather than split into too many fragmented parts. That's the problem with that. Show. my sanity when I was coming here 10 years ago. That'll be, that'll sound good. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it, it's through the existence. I start writing. And somebody said that uh, the, the common word and people that is just beginning to write. So I went down and I talked to um, then Susie was there at the time. So I had a word with him. So I started going to the group and I find out that the more that I write is the better I become. Olivia Gaston and I've been with Commonwealth for about five years. I've been on the management committee about four years. It's a great organisation because it deals with all aspects of literature. And you've got you, you've got your gay, uh, you've got your Chinese, you've got your Irish. So for so someone like me coming in not knowing anything, it's just a wonderful experience to, to really get the knowledge of a diverse group of people. I'm also part of the Monday night group, which meets on a Monday, and I'm also part of Identity, which meets on a Wednesday. So it's just a, a very diverse organisation and I'm just proud to be with it, and that's why I've come down tonight. You want to start Okay, hi, my name's Shamshad and um, I've been involved with Commonwealth for between 10 and 15 years, I can't quite remember, and I first started attending identity writing workshops uh, ages ago and did that for a long time and developed my writing and got into performance and did my first performances along with Trudy Blake and I think Tina Tamshow and uh, Cheryl Martin and, and Lem Sisse was doing the development work at that time and I just kept going and doing little bits and, bit, bits and pieces of poetry and now the last few years I've been mainly doing poetry and performance and the piece I'm going to do tonight is a piece which um, Basil Clark and, has done the music along with um, Avni Ferguson and um, Matthew Watson, they've done the extra keyboards on it. So um, basically I've just been developing writing and performance and I don't know what else to say now, but that's enough. <laughs> no, yes, no. No, 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 yes, no. No, yes, no. No, no. Contradiction. The insistence on the existence of the other side of things. A resistance to speaking for a persistence to oppose. Mary, Mary, Mary. In his best Oxford Dictionary voice, he explains to Mary, the contrary does not exclude the opposite, it just includes it as its most extreme. This is white, has only one opposite. This is black, but many contraries. This is not white. This is another colour. This is pink, or, in the extreme, this is black. I, 
real belief that um, the writing is not some kind of um, holy grail or it, um, something that um, only a few people can do. That in many ways, anybody can do it, um, and they don't have to be great at it. They just have to be kind of honest with themselves and, and real about it. Um, I think that's what I've taken from it mostly, really. The boy is in love with the girl he's sure is his other half. New job and promotion leads to the house in the leakiest suburbs. He gives up brooding over his and the, work, and the world's injustices on the sad sofas of rented rooms, gives up the bread and water of content for the master chef of joy. Published, he wins awards, advances, readings all over the civilized world. Spring muscles in, and the sun shows through burly clouds like a kid at a football gets to the front of the stand. He no longer writes poetry. Besides, when did he ever get time? However, disaster formed a plan to get him back on track. The girl, now wife, mother of three adjustable children, turns gay, his son's called Joy Riley, he's sacked for scribbling verses in margins. His latest book, trashed in a TLS, Guardian and Poetry Review, doesn't sell. He rents a flat, gets mugged, robbed, arrested, as the sun retreats like a boxer, well trounced and a rainy summer spoils his harvest of green beans and optimism. But the boy is at his death, fingers spied on a bleeding keyboard. He holds bookshelves as owls blink at, at the moon, coursing nevermore, and war breaks out in a country he has a bursary to visit. Within months, his new volume is slid so, slimly onto the publisher's mat, a haddock on the impression slab. And that was four points, but not a rhyme inside. Hey, how are you doing? This is the 25th anniversary of my Mark Sullivan. Are you in Mark Sullivan? I'm there. Okay. I love Chinaman, man. Right.
common word is going to grow and it will grow and it will be successful insofar as it can evolve to embrace the new opportunities produced by the innovation and invention of new forms, new ways of publishing. Uh, I think we're a very good band of people. Uh, we've got a very strong sense of camaraderie. You know, we hang together really well and that unity of purpose will ensure that we move forward in a very strong way. <laughs> what are you, seriously, what are you filming for? Because that sounded pretty dirty. No, I was I'm reading a poem. A poem? Yes, shut up and listen. Listen I like to the poem. Don't interrupt do. now, just stand there and okay. listen. I do like a lot of poetry because I like writing poetry myself. Shut up, it's my poetry we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I do vocals, I do vocals Shush. in a band and I write I a lot care. of poetry, so... <laughs> listen, listen and learn okay. something. Shut up. <laughs> you're the audience, <laughs> right? Come here, you're okay. the audience, <laughs> right? <laughs> you need to sit there and listen to it now. Okay. It's called Red Light. The neon sign beckons, blinking on and on. Hello? Red light against the dark, rainy night. My mouth gulps, my juices flow. No, I mustn't. I turn to go. I am walking. I am walking away. Oh no, I cannot. That neon sign is driving me mad. I'm walking back. I'm through the door. The steamy air, the familiar smells, embrace me, welcome me back. It's like coming home. She wakes. Oh God, what the hell? Fish and chips please and mushy peas. I'll take the lot to eat now. Now, what did you think of that? Now I understand it. Good. You see, I li it's like... Your, you and your dirty mind, wasn't no, it? No, it's just me and my piss mind. <laughs> Basically. Oh, he's, 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 Sophie, I write a lot of cool poetry. He's a lyricist, yeah, he's a poet as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yeah. You got a poem? Um, not on me, no, but um, I could like... One? I like a bake my own bread. Do you remember bake my own bread? No, I don't actually. I was, I was just like, oh, like, 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 fucking stone, man. Um, let me think. Um, we are those lovers that crawl too far. End of me, end of you. End of everything that was beautiful. I can't remember, I'm too pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Right, so this is called Bare Footprints and it's about, it could kind of be subtitled My Years in London and Manchester, fuck, I forget where I am. Anyway, she was all pigtails and frowns, wise eyes and baby face. She'd seen it all before and didn't let on how much she knew. She was reaching for a petrol blue moon. She was a child to the fairground spellbound, but the merry-go-round spun too fast. And she started to think her thoughts were profound. She expounds her ideas on sounds and she's not who she thinks she is and she's shifting and changing in the moonlight. And now she's all baggy jumpers and skinny wrists. She's a pale-faced, half-arsed, lazy activist. She's unemployed and overpaid, the cliched self-made comrade as the moonlight fades. Manchester's greatest living poet. Right. She was as pretty as Mark Boland was back in 1972. Or was it a little bit later? What year was Metal Guru? She used to wear satin clothes and fuck off stack heeled shoes. But I gave her up for purple arts, dexedrine and booze. She went and joined the police force. Snidey backstabbers called her a dyke. But we'd shagged along to T-Rex songs so I knew what she was like. I've heard she's a chief inspector now. Hey, not bad for a Withinshire tart. And every time I hear Boland sing, well, it tugs on this old heart. Woo! <laughs>
the stairs, slam the doors on breaking doors and breaking glass and promises which no one kept and conversations which pretend that friends and Frasier matter. Lock the door, sit down and check that you're strapped in. Check your teeth are sharp, your hands and conscience nearly clean. For here be tigers, here be dragons, here be creatures of the night with fiery eyes and painted faces smiling through their pearly whites, purring out their stories, curling around your ankles squealing out their fairy tales and better than the real thing lies. Well, I'm rather worse than uh, Richard, and there's our P. I'd like to thank our P for always coming to um, wave at me like that. The common word be brilliant. Photo, wind blow. Your nose deep red. And to prove that I don't mind, they're absolutely warm. But only couldn't put my hand down your trousers. Well, it's your fault. What do you expect if you always got the waist on me? Lose you. You two. Photo, wind blowing. A lot of us don't um, keep a lot inside and writing, bring it all out into the open and we share our inner feelings with whoever want to listen. So that is what common words do for me. Up to the back of my roots here. On the occasion of Commonwealth's 25th anniversary, all hail to noble Commonwealth on this most auspicious day, and praise to all their workers, be they straight or be they gay. From the highest to the lowest, loud cheer should surely be given that Commonwealth was born in 1977. For many who were present then did not have the sense to visualize Commonwealth still flogging boots 25 years hence. They did not see that culture world would flourish as it has, or that women's issues be addressed without sniggering at brass. With readings and with festivals and many groups on which to focus, not forgetting all the bonny books published under the imprint of Crocus. A grateful nation rises and with one voice is heard to say to common world and culture world, a half to hip hip hooray. Thank you. Tommy Barkley. Yes, no, no, yes, no. No, 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 yes, no. No, yes, no. No, no. Contradiction. The insistence on the existence of the other side of things. A resistance to speaking for. A persistence to oppose. Mary. 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 In his best Oxford Dictionary voice, he explains to Mary, 
The contrary does not exclude the opposite. It just includes it as its most extreme. This is white has only one opposite. This is black, but many contraries. This is not white. This is another color. This is pink, or in the extreme, this is black. She pipes up in her penguin pocketbook voice. Contrary, converse, and opposite often get confused. You see, the converse of he hit me is I hit him. The contrary of I hit him could be I did not hit him. I hit him a bit. I didn't really hit him. I might have hit him. I hit him, on the other hand, has no opposite. Referring to his hard-backed volume on correct English usage, he elucidates the matter in the hope to confuse her. On the other hand, is often misused in the place of the contrary. On the other hand, never introduces something that conflicts with the truth of what has preceded, but always a coexistent truth in contrast with it. On the contrary is less simple. It may have either the meaning of, on the other hand, or far from that. For example, love was a... This is called Do in the Dog. I was skating down the street today to buy a garden and my pink toilet paper when I saw this big old Alsatian dog trying to eat its ass. He reminded me of you. Because I imagine that's what you'd really like to do except to try to get me to kiss yours instead. Since that's not my scene, and this is my bed, you can get out of it. Now, 